In the last tutorial video, we ordered the invasion of Italy. In this tutorial video, we'll review airborne operations. If you select the 82nd Airborne Division's hex, you'll notice that one of the regiments has a drop hex already assigned, and it has accumulated 50 preparation points for the airborne drop. The other regiments don't have a target assigned, but you could assign a target by using this button. An airborne unit can accumulate up to 95 preparation points and must have at least 50 in order to drop. The higher the preparation, the less damage the unit will suffer upon dropping. When you enter air transport mode, notice that initially you're in air transport unit mode. If you click again, you'll be in air transport freight mode. Since we're going to be dropping the paratroopers, we want to be in unit mode. So now we go and select the paratroopers we want to drop. And notice now that we're in air transport unit mode, the drop button is showing up because we have more than 50 preparation points. Also notice that any hexes that are targeted for an airdrop are shown in light blue and the invasion hexes are shown here in red and these are always shown when you're in air transport mode. So let's go ahead and order the drop. Also note that the, since this is an airborne drop supporting an amphibious invasion, it's automatically going to be taking place at night. So we'll just accept the first two transport groups that are assigned and launch the mission. And now you can see that the unit has been assigned to drop. As this is an airborne drop assigned to support an amphibious invasion, it will take place in the amphibious and airborne phase at the beginning of the German turn. So let's go to the British 1st Airborne Division and order one of its regiments to drop. Now that we've ordered our amphibious invasions and airdrops, we're ready to end our turn and begin the German logistics phase. Remember, it's necessary to order your amphibious invasions first before ordering an airborne drop. The rules state that an airdrop may be executed within one hex of an ordered amphibious invasion or within eight hexes of a supplied friendly unit. Only in the latter case will the drop be executed immediately. After the logistics phase, the amphibious and airborne operations will be resolved. First, the airborne landings will take place. Next, the invasions will start to come ashore in a random order. Any commandos or rangers in the amphibious headquarters will come ashore in an empty adjacent hex next to the main landing, like this one here. And here's another commando rating. Notice that not all the losses that the units take during these operations are included in the battle reports. You can also see that airfields, temporary ports, and depots have been created. Now that the invasions are done, we're into the German air planning phase and at the end of this tutorial.